Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? It's Charlie, the Average Guy Fishing. Brought to you by Socks Renovation and Design, your local home improvement contractor based out of good old Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. Veteran owned and operated, building your dreams one nail at a time. As you can tell, I'm back in my living room because it is 20 some degrees outside. Water temperature is about 33. Uh, it's just, they're just not biting, guys. They're just not. Um, I promise you, though, I will get out there and uh, freeze and try to catch uh, winter fish. It's, it's just rough right now. It's uh, pretty pretty dang cold. <laughs> Not going to lie. And uh, I noticed, um, I started reviewing some of my other videos. I really don't edit anything. What you get is what you get. I make mistakes. You make mistakes. We all make mistakes. So I'm not going to hide them. You know, you just, it is what it is. So if you want reality, you know, the truth, then watch my channel. Subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you know when I post uh, another video. I've been posting pretty regularly the past couple days. I know I got to work on my consistency and stuff like that. So leave me a comment. Let me know how you think. What you think. What I can do to improve. Um, you guys are part of this as well. I want to blow this channel up. I want to make it big. I need more than 12 subscribers to do that though. So share the video. Invite a friend. Again, if my 12 subscribers each invite a friend to subscribe, then I got 24 subscribers, then those 24 invite a friend, or those 12 invite a, eventually I'll get to my 1,000, and eventually somebody's going to get a uh, Ugly Stick GX2, or they might get one of them uh, 13 Fishing Concept C2 uh, Baitcasting Reels. You might end up getting a year's supply of Mr. Tackle Box. You may get a box that looks like this. That's just, you know, full of stuff. And everything. I mean, I'm going to do some giveaways. Once I hit that mark, like I said, I hit the 100 mark, somebody's getting a fish pole. It's that simple. I hit that 1,000, I hit the 500 mark, I am going to do a year supply of the Mystery Tackle Box. Uh, regular. Just the regular Mystery Tackle Box. And for, I think, in the 1,000, I will give... A year's supply of the pro if you guys have better suggestions towards what would be a better little gift or something like that let me know in the comment box all right like I said got a box today I went to the post office picked it up because catch code don't put things in my mailbox <laughs> well my mailbox ain't big enough for all the stuff and my wife's starting to get on me a little bit about the all these big old boxes laying around all right so let's go ahead and uh crack into this here I can't remember exactly what this is so that's the problem when you order a bunch of stuff and it comes at different times you don't worry about tracking it you just end up with stuff you don't remember let's see Oop. what we got here oh hold on a second alright we got our bubble my kids love these things and so do I what we got here all right, this is a the Mary Fishmas catalog. It lets you know uh, some things from Carl's Club, Mr. Tackle Box, Choose Your Species. I was actually thinking about that, changing up to maybe a trout, the panfish and the trout one. So, I mean, I wonder if you can do that. I wonder if you can have, like, I'm going to have to find out. Like, I have the Bass Pro. But can I also order the Mystery Tackle Box, Walleye, Panfish, and short stuff like that? Uh, gives you the prices of a bunch of their stuff for 10,000 fish. It's got the Head Hunter, uh, the Zuki Bug, the Cycle Bait, the ta Taki Frog, Yodo Worm, uh, the Death Stalker, which is a blade bait, which is kind of cool. Uh, let you know about the Contender, click, you know, it just, I'll tell you what, it's just simple. Guys, order something from Carl's Bait and Tackle. Uh, I will put a link in the description below for a I think it's $10 off your first yeah $10 off your first mystery tackle box. You get $10 I get $10. What do you think guys? Sound good? Sound good to me. Alright. Let's go ahead and see what we got in here. Oh and I got the <laughs> 
and <laughs> my wife retired these two. I got more of the amazing fishing calendars by Carl's Bait and Tackle, by Carl Dibble. And, you know, let's see. What we got here? Let's check my birthday. My birthday is July 7th, and I was born in the great year of 1978. I mean, it's got great pictures. Uh, you get to see some of the stuff. You know, it's actually a nice calendar. Um, we have the diesel jig, football jig, 3 8 ounce by Catchco. This is in the uh, black and blue with four out hook. Black and blue, green pumpkin, and watermelon red are my favorite, and they work great in this area. It don't really matter if it's a ribbon worm, a mondo worm, crack and crawl, uh, speak, anything like that, rage crawl by Strike King, any of those. And we got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine of them in here. Oh, wait, oh. Got ten. Give y'all a close up. You know, four rot hook. It's got uh, looks like hand tied skirts. They're all three eighths ounce. These are going to be going into the tackle shop and everything, and they'll be on sale. You can buy them at the tackle box. In Berkeley Springs, West Virginia, come February 2022, and they will be going for a salty price of only $4.99 to $5.99. I haven't decided yet. I know that they say that most bait has a markup of up to 50%. Well, I don't want to be that guy. This isn't like a, this isn't about making a whole lot of money, guys. For me, and I also have this box. We're gonna sorry, this box we're gonna go over. This venture is not about making a lot of money. It's about getting more fishermen out there. When I say fishermen, I mean men, women, children, everybody. Uh, to bring people to Cape and State Park and bring more people to Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. And so you don't have to take that long drive. You lose 45 minutes to go to the store. You lose 45 minutes in the store, and then you lose 45 minutes back. What is that? Hour and a half. That's a little. That's two. That's over two hours, right there. You're over two hours, and by that time, after I run, you're tired. You don't want to fish. That's it. Unless you're me, and I just want to fish all the time. So I don't remember what I ordered. Oh, this is a Catchco staff pick kit. Yeah. I like picking these up because it's kind of like the mystery tackle box. You really don't know what you're going to get inside until you get it. Let's open her up. Oh, oh, look at this. I have another sticker. Yeah, this one here may actually be going on the old laptop front. Right there would be an awesome spot for that and everything. All right. We have the, what did what I say earlier about this? We have the 10,000 fish headhunter. This is a three and one quarter inch, half ounce, fully rigged swim bait. Free swinging internal hook, lifelike swimming action. Let me see if I can get you a good shot of that. Is that better? Uh, from what it shows on the inside, that. Let's read. The Headhunter is a fully rigged swim bait built with a realistic dorsal fin that disguises the bait's hook while preventing snags. The magnetic hook harness system provides a more free range of motion when setting the hook, while giving the fish less leverage to throw your bait. Slowly retrieve through the water column, particularly around cover. Slight pops can be used in the retrieve to trigger strikes. A firm hook set is needed once you get a bite. It has a magnetic snag resistant hook. So I'm guessing once they bite down, that hook swings up and locks in on the fish's mouth. Uh, and what's cool is it's paddle style, and it, uh, once again, I'll show you. It, let me see if I can get the glare off of it. This here represents a lot of the yellow belly sunfish and bluegill that we have in our area. And we have, you know, the long-eared sunfish and stuff like that. And once again, we have another... Guggen Squad, Filthy Frog, in Bullfrog, this is a two and a half inch bait, 
that weighs five eighths of an ounce. Uh, this is not a popping frog. This is a regular um, retrieval frog. And I'll tell you what, it's an eat me frog also. <laughs> That's the thing I love that about Guggen. The quality of their baits and the little details that they put in there, the little you know nuances, whatnot. But uh, this is a good bait in my area because we have a lot of grass uh, vegetation. You, me, I've learned that with this, if you pop it up on the bank behind the willows and then slowly pull it into the water, a lot of times you can get the fish to come almost up on the bank as it's coming in to get this. So that's that's a good bait to have. Uh, what else we got here? Let's take a few things out. We got some heavy metal tungsten flipping weights, 3 8 ounce tungsten weights here. Uh, these are, well, let's see what we got. Let me check this out real quick. Let's see if we can find the prices of some things for you. So, you know, I believe I paid $21 for this. Okay, well, the headhunter alone, the non-member price is, for the three and a half half ounce, is $9.99. You can get it at Carl's Bait and Tackle for $6.99, which is not a bad deal. And, uh, the Filthy Frog, the Guggen Squad, dang it, the Guggen Squad Filthy Frog, non-member, $8.99, uh, member gets $6.29, so that's, that's a pretty good deal on that. Back to, the, let's see, the Tungsten Weights, I don't know about these, the price of them, it doesn't show, but these are probably like, for three weights, Tungsten's expensive, this is probably like a, probably get it for $4.99, for members, six ninety nine for non members. So if you get a chance, sign up for the uh, Carl's Bait and Tackle Club. It's forty nine uh, forty nine dollars a year. It uh, also comes with some tackle insurance, which means if you lose one of your favorite lures that you purchase from Carl's Bait and Tackle, they will replace it up to five insurance claims. So uh, three eight ounce tungsten. These are just they're better than lead. They're just more expensive. And everything. I have a lot of lead weights because I make my own weights with uh, lead molds and this, that, and the other. But tungsten is where it's at. Sorry about that. Uh, next, we have the Carl Stash pegs, bobber pegs, or uh, just you know, put these on your line. So you, when you're doing a Texas rig, you don't have to keep uh, your bait super tight on the Texas rig. You can get you know. You can give it the full leader. Uh, you can give it six inches, three inches, tight to the bait, depending on how you want it. Yeah, your cat. But uh, you can never have not enough pegs. I think these are like two dollars and fifty cents. The pegs are like the tidy whities of fishing gear. They kind of keep everything in place. Just put one of these on your line above your bullet weight, then slide it right against the weight and keep it snug. Happy fishing. Next we have the stickies. Finally crafted EWG hooks. Uh, Trying to see what size. These are three aught. This is a three pack. We craft our hooks with care, down to the finest detail, perfecting every angle, refining every dimension, and testing every material. This approach allows us to create better quality products while honoring the rich history and tradition of hook making that began thousands of years ago. These are distributed by Catchco out of Chicago, Illinois, and this is printed on recycled paper. Uh, when, I, when I was a kid and everything, I remember uh, just losing hooks and sinkers left and, white, left and right. And as I've gotten older, I've realized that my dad spent a lot of money on me losing his hooks and sinkers. So, and I've gotten better at not losing hooks and sinkers. Alright, next, we have the Catchco Collaboration Hand Tied Skirt One Quarter Ounce Tight Rope Baby Firework Super Jig in Green Pumpkin Blue with a two odd hook. This is a smaller finesse style uh, jig. It's what did I say it was, quarter ounce. It's quarter ounce, so. Uh, I can use this on my bait caster. Uh, if you're not experienced with a bait caster, you can use the spinning combo. Your spinning setup. Um, 
So, and with it being winter, downsized, this here would probably be good. You probably catch like crappie, bluegill, and everything with this. Uh, let's see what it says on the back. Born in the 312, which is a Chicago area code. Hardcore Chicago angler J.P. Hay and Ryan Whitaker created a combat jig with broad shoulders and a love for the rocky bottom. Tyler Bay Firework Super Jig, 10 to 15 pounds of fluorocarbon line, and watch this thing pop off. I don't want it to pop off. I want to keep it. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, there you go. And, you know, the good thing is, like, a lot of the stuff that you get from Carl's Bait and Tackle, it has descriptions on how to use it, how to fix it, how to this, that, and the other. All right. Now, <laughs> look at that. Watermelon Red Flake Bandito Bug 3.3 Juniors. Like I said, Watermelon Red can't go wrong. These things are fabulous. I mean, these are, they smell great. Smell, you can smell the anise in them, which is like a black licorice kind of smell. Let's see. Let's open one up. And these are a smaller profile. They're oily as heck. And I tell you what, uh, break the legs apart and, you, you know, flip this thing here weightless. You can throw this with a eighth ounce tungsten. Uh, you can pretty much use that as a trailer. This is the all. This is the go-to bait. Now I like the black and blue as well, but in my area, this is this color. It's uh, watermelon red, green pumpkin, black blue. They're, they're the go-tos. But this one right here is a go-to staple that every bassman, bass fisherman, should have in his arsenal. I mean, it is. They are, and it has the slaunch sauce in it. If you don't know anything about the slant sauce, you need to start watching the Googans. You need to watch the, you know, the Catchco and everything like that. Next. Oopsie. Next, we have the Heavy Metal Tungsten Mushroom Head Jig. Which is kind of messed up in the box. There we go. Standard Mushroom Head Jig uh, with two odds, a four-pack. says Mushroom Jig Head is perfect to fish around any hard cover thread a small chunk of stick bait onto the hook throw it around points uh, bluff banks boat docks or rip wrap keep a slack line look for the telltale tick of a nibble and get ready to rock 97 percent tungsten it's 100 lead free so these are 97 percent tungsten so these are probably kind of pricey too uh the thing with these what i say the weight was uh you flip these out, and you leave your, li your line a little slack, and a lot of times you'll see it, it get picked up off the bottom. These are good for Ned rigging. Um, I use them mainly for Ned rigging on a spinning setup, but you watch your line, and your line just starts going. Sorry about my wife's birds. Uh, it's like I love Lucy's show up there. These two, they spend a lot of time arguing with each other. And next we have... The 10,000 Fishes Sakushi Bug by Catch Cow. The 10,000 Fishes. The thing is, I've noticed, um, I see a lot of people using these on YouTube, and they catch fish with them. So, they're made with ultra durable, high buoyancy, stretch X plastic. These are two and a half inches. Uh, they are in the green pumpkin. So, the little creature dances with every twitch a fish finds a snack. The Sakoshi Bug was designed specifically to fish on a Ned Rig made with ultra durable, high buoyancy stretch X plastic. The body floats to ensure a consistent upright position. Work the Sakoshi Bug around hard cover, near rip wrap, boat docks, anywhere else bass might be hiding out. So you take these and you pair it with this, and when you flip it out there, this here little fella is going to stand up and dance around in the water like this. And it's going to entice these uh, big old bass to come over and take a bite out of crime. Next and last, we have the XJ Swim 4 inch. And it is in the Pearl Flash. This is another six pack. We already went over the XJ Swim before. As you can see, Pearl Flash. Uh, it's a paddle tail rib swim bait. It's four inches long. It has a pearl white top with a I guess you would say the flash is on the bottom which is made up of like 
different color glitter and like a whitish silver glitter so it gives a good reflection and everything like that uh, I mean there it is guys that's the Carl's bait and tackle catch co staff pick kit so you need to go out and get yourself one of these get yourself a Carl's bait and tackle new sticker like I got you can't have this one's mine um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, so there we go. It's another video for you guys. Another, uh, pretty much another Catch Code Carl's Bank Tackle Googan video. I right, love you guys. Tight lines, rip lips, keep fishing, go outdoors.